Welcome back to HANA Basics for Developers. So in the previous exercise, we saw how we can use the SQL script debugger to troubleshoot problems in our SQL script code. Now, the other side of most troubleshooting is performance analysis. And while you can use the debugger somewhat when it comes to performance analysis, it really helps to have a dedicated set of tools and techniques to be able to analyze how much time is being spent on certain parts of your application or how much data is being loaded by certain parts. And for that, we have dedicated performance analysis tools inside of HANA. In this exercise and video, let's go ahead and take a look at the performance analysis tools that we to the Web IDE and the Database Explorer. Once again, this is part of the runtime tools. Uh, we've got existing database procedures and we want to analyze the runtime of them. And one of the first things we want to do is if we have a long running procedure that's already been executed, how can we kind of peek inside of it and look at the, um, uh, the execution of that already running procedure? All right, uh, so the key there is we have a system view called M underscore active underscore procedures. And that's gonna allow us to see the expensive statements and other processing that's going on inside of the currently active uh, procedures. So the first thing we want to do is um, is uh, we want to execute a procedure that we've prepared. We've got this um, uh, long-running procedure that's intentionally, if we look at the statement here, it's intentionally going to do um, uh, basically bad code. It's going to loop over and, and perform the same code over and over again. And, and just so we can get something that sits out there and is going to run for um, many seconds so that we can simulate that kind of scenario and connect to it and, and see how we can view what's going on inside of it. Um, now, uh, we're going to need to run this procedure. We're going to need to give it some input parameters. We don't want to necessarily type all those in. So we've prepared a little snippet. It's going to help us call this long running procedure. We're going to search for all notebooks. We're going to do it like a hundred times. Um, it, well, we're going to loop over all the logic a hundred times. So it's, this is going to it's going to take a little bit. So I'll go ahead and start the execution. And notice it's clocking. It's waiting while it's while it's coming back. But what we can do while we're waiting is we can open another SQL console window. And we can say select star from M active procedures where procedure name is equal to what our other procedure name was, long running proc. And with any luck, it's still running. Yeah, uh, it is still running. So we can execute this, and notice it's it's gone in, and basically what's in that in that view is letting us peek inside the execution of that other running procedure without disrupting it, without having to go in debug or stop it. It's still running, you know, and we could continuously refresh this and see what it's got going on at that time. But we can see the statement string that it's currently executing. Uh, we can see we're doing a select count there. Uh, we can see which uh, which things are being executed. So that's the select count is actually done. Um, this select is done. We're currently executing this part of it, the, uh, the long running procedure itself. Uh, this part's still running. So you see some parallelization happening here as well. We can see the compile time, the execution time that is taken so far, the start and end times. Uh, some other details as far as the materialization memory and execution memory that it's taking up. So we begin to see, well, which part of our application is actually taking so much time, you know, or maybe it's not just amount of time, it's the number of uh, amount of memory or something like that that's, that's uh, adding up here. And what we see here, it, it did eventually finish here and brought back the results. You know, if we were to run this again now, 
It's gone. So this is transient. We can only see it while this is running. This isn't persisted performance data. It's a snapshot uh, of that point in time uh, of the exact execution. That's why we were able to basically run the query again during the execution, maybe see some different results as it moved from one part to another. I also want to show you an important thing here. If we did have this long running um, procedure, I'll, I'll, I'll kick it off again. And, and there it goes starting again. Um, we could run this, you know, several times, and maybe we see, maybe you see, oh no, I'm stuck in some sort of loop. I'm never going to come out of this, or, or something like that. Nice feature of the uh, of the SQL console here is that I can cancel a statement. So I can come here and I can just cancel it, and it's killed the statement off, and it's no longer running. I can come back over here and see, yes, it has it has stopped running. It has it has canceled it. Uh, going along with that, just to show you some other features here, we've been running these, uh, but you can actually run them as, as background activity or even distribute them to multiple databases if, if you've got your Database Explorer connected up to multiple databases. Kind of not having to do with performance analysis directly, but, uh, but nice features nonetheless of the SQL Console in the Database Explorer that I wanted to point out to you while we were in here. Okay? So... Um, so what we want to do now is I also want to show you how we can, um, uh, besides the M active procedures, how we can get the status of running procedures uh, to see the overall performance overview of our procedure as well. So what we want is we've got a um, we've got another procedure here that we've prepared, not this long running one, but uh, one that will allow us to see some some more performance details here. So let me get the code snippet here. Proc.sql. So what we want to do here is we're going to use an anonymous block that we learned about earlier. And we're going to call this performance proc and give it some parameters. And then we're immediately going to select from M active procedures for the current connection. So it's going to give us details of the performance proc as it was running. So even though this might run fast, uh, we'll go ahead and put it in here, we can still take a snapshot of its performance while it's executing. So let's go ahead and run this. So it does take a few seconds to, to run all the same. Uh, not as long as the other one, so maybe it wouldn't be enough time to open another SQL console and attach to it and see it as it's running. But we still got a, a snapshot of it because of the second select here to M active procedures while it was doing the uh, call, per, uh, call procedure performance proc. And we can still see some details as far as like where it was spending all of its all of its time. Yes, it was executing the M active procedures, uh, the select from M active procedures. So that's captured in here as well. But really, the rest of this is where we want to want to focus. Uh, you know, where it was spending its time, uh, how much uh, how much time it was spending in each of the uh, uh, each of the inner processing. Uh, and we can see all kinds of detailed information as we saw before, you know, the start time, the end time. So we can see where it really, even though we captured it sort of after the fact here, it's, it's uh, all the steps are completed. We can come over here and we can see the statement execution time. So we can still get a sense of, of what took so much time in our execution uh, based upon the execution time. Or we can see based upon the memory. Uh, not necessarily memory in this case stands out, but it's the execution time that really tells us the part uh, that was that was costing us so much uh, time. Okay, so the M active procedures is pretty useful for for seeing execution flow and and time, but maybe we want uh, uh, we want m even more details. And there we have a dedicated tool called the SQL Analyzer tool. Um, that's going to allow us to see all kinds of additional detail. It's got a nice graphical display. We can uh, visually look at the flow of the application. So it's not quite as raw as looking at this M active procedures. So what we want to do here, let's go ahead and, and clear out the code. And we've got a uh, another example here that we're going to run. So uh, performance proc 2. Oh, I got my dot in the wrong spot. There we are. So we're going to run this performance proc with different parameters. We're going to put it in here, but um, you know we're going to select the whole thing. But instead of clicking the run, we're going to click the analyze SQL. OK? 
Okay, so it's going to do, um, it's going to parse the SQL and see how it would execute. It's going to provide us with an analysis of the plan of how the execution will take place. So we'll give it a second to finish that processing. are it's done executing and it's brought up this nice tool it's very similar to the uh, performance analysis and the uh, uh, that we had in the uh, in the HANA studio we brought over I think just about all the major features of it obviously the layout and the navigation here is a little different but I think once you get used to it you're gonna find much uh, if not all of the same um, the same features here so for instance we can go to the um, we can go to the statement statistics. It's going to do a breakdown here. It's going to uh, nest them. We're going to see the execution time here as well. We can even further break down and see the execution inside. So for instance, we could see the execution before that it was the long running procedure, but maybe what's going on inside there. Uh, it looks like a select from a temp table. So we can see some of, uh, some of those details. Of course, you can click the more button here because um, a lot of these table names and statements are going to get pretty long longer than we can see in the in the columns even when we make them a little bit wider here so we've got the more button to bring up the additional details um, we can see the plan graph this was something you know a lot of a lot of people rely on this in the uh, in the old hana studio and of course we open with uh, sort of a simple node here but uh, uh, but we can quickly expand that out and see the execution. We can see the flow of the execution. Let me kind of come in between here. We can see the parallel execution between different operations. Uh, we can drill into, say, the table assignment there. See that we're performing column search. So very detailed information. Very Some of this is very technical information, but it can be very helpful to drill in. You know, sometimes maybe data is being transferred between the column store and the row store. When we're joining between those two, we don't realize it. Maybe we're not getting as much parallelization as we expect. And, and this will help, uh, uh, help us see at a glance um, really uh, when those kinds of things are happening uh, and, and drill into some very tricky performance uh, scenarios. And besides the, um, besides the plan view, we can also uh, see the timeline as well. I, I like this one quite a bit because it helps you visualize your, your execution breakdown. And of course, once again, you know, our table assignments here, the, the parallel execution is, is really where we're spending a lot of time in this particular operation. So it helps us to very quickly um, get in and, and see what's going on there. Okay, so those were really impacts of performance analysis at, at runtime. Uh, but one other way to analyze um, a performance or, or, or quality of our code is to do a static code analysis as well. And that's something that we can uh, do now. We have a SQL script a code analyzer. Um, and what we can do here is either for an entire container, an entire system, a single procedure, uh, but basically you can say analyze SQL script code. What it's going to do is it's actually running through all the stored procedures in my container and it's doing a, a static code check. So it's checking for security and consistency. You know, some of these things may impact security, like I'm using an input parameter, but and I'm using it in dynamic SQL, but I'm not checking for injection. Some of the others may be performance related. I'm using some dynamic SQL and it's showing me, you know, exactly the line of code and what procedure this is in. You know, some of these things may be something that I'm aware of and maybe there's no alternative, like the use of dynamic SQL. It's basically just saying, you know, anytime you have dynamic SQL, we can't check further. We don't know what's going to execute until runtime because that, that could lead to performance problems. You know, in some of these other checks, we have things where maybe we need to adjust the code to make, you know, make it better quality code. Uh, so, you know, any good, um, any, any good analysis should include not just the performance at runtime, but really before you, you know, release any code, you should really run these kinds of uh, static checks. It's going to catch a lot of problems before they show up in testing or 
even production. And uh, as you see here, I was able to navigate directly from the code analysis into the uh, uh, into the uh, uh, the line of code where we're having the problem um, with this with this particular example. And in some of these cases, we intentionally in some of these procedures put in some bad code so that we'd have some things in the SQL script code analysis to to show you.